Right now at six, new details on the mass shooting in upstate New York being investigated as a hate crime. What we're finding out about the suspect's past. Plus, after contract talks stall, teachers in Brookline getting ready to make a stand and go on strike. Reaction tonight from their union president. Warm and humid this evening. I'm tracking a couple of showers. I'll have your work week forecast coming up. Oh, here we go. The Celtics fighting for another shot at a championship right now. 97 Celtics, 77 Bucks. Thank you so much for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Monica Medea. The Seas battling it out at the Garden in Game 7. It is all on the line in their series with the Milwaukee Bucks. Oscar Margain live at the Garden now with how people are feeling as the Seas try to survive this playoff round. Oscar, over to you. Yeah, that's right, Monica. You know, Less than five minutes left here in the fourth quarter, and fans can almost taste that victory. The Celtics leading at, by as many as 22 points here in the fourth quarter as they try to seal a win here at home and try to eliminate the defending champions, the Milwaukee Bucks, here in Boston. Now here at the Garden, fans have been as loud as they can, not only to give the Celtics the boost they need, but also to try to throw the Bucks off their game. The Seas struggled a little bit in the first quarter to finish then the first half with a five-point lead, then coming back in the third quarter, stretching that lead even further, and then the fourth, like I said, by as many as 22 points here, very, very close to winning. So far, the Celtics have done everything they can to try to stop uh, the Bucks as uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and so far, they've been able to manage to do that, but let's just not be, uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves right now, because we know the history of what's happened here before, so let's not, let's wait until it's over. It's not over until it's over. And so last minutes here at the Garden, hoping, hoping the Seas can seal this and then go into the Eastern Conference Finals against the Miami Heat. Back to you, Monica. Oh, my gosh, Oscar. Two minutes to go. It is so exciting. Thank you so much, Oscar. We'll see you later. Game 7, of course, in full swing. We're in the final minutes here. Once it's over, our sister station, NBC Sports Boston, has you covered with live post-show coverage. you got to stay tuned for that. And also this, time now for a check of the weather. You know, it may have been a nice and warm weekend, but storms are headed our way. So meteorologist David Bagley has your first alert forecast. Hey, David. Yeah, thanks, Monica. Pretty big game over there down in Boston right now. Temperature there, 76 degrees. It's 80 degrees in Fitchburg. It's a little bit cooler down towards the Cape. We have a southerly wind off the cooler ocean. That's cooling you down into the 60s. As far as the precipitation goes, we are watching this area of precipitation. This little shower started developing about an hour ago. We're going to track that as it moves towards the east. It should weaken, but closer to the city, we are watching this, we, this little system, this little shower right here. That's moving towards Waltham, but most of this is sporadic. It's just not really touching the ground, some of these showers, so we're not expecting any problems right now. As far as what goes on the next several hours, we'll be about 70 degrees. We'll drop down into the 60s overnight. We could have a spot shower in Boston from those showers up that I was just talking about out west if they hold through, but most of those should break up overnight. And then by tomorrow morning, could have some patchy fog tomorrow morning early. But we are watching the potential for some severe weather out in portions of western Massachusetts to southwestern New Hampshire into Vermont. Those storms will be arriving about 6, 7 o'clock tomorrow night. I'll have all the details coming up in just a few minutes. Monica. All right, David, we'll see you then. New developments now in the racist mass shooting that killed 10 and injured three at a supermarket in Buffalo, New York. The gunman was reportedly investigated for making a threat at his high school.